Early part of the season, it is all gas, no breaks. 5-3-1 for the Kings, 5-2-1 for the Wild. We're playing well as a team in the Western Conference, making a name for ourselves, a household name. And I'm making myself a household name right now, too. I've got seven goals, three assists, and ten points in as many games, nine games to be exact. So I'm actually playing and averaging a little bit more than a point per game. So I, I love the production that I'm having, but I've got a chance here to add on another goal to my tally, and I can't put it home. Good defense by Brodeen. I can't get it done. The uh, the veteran Brodeen. So of course, you know the, the guy. The guy knows what's up. He he knows the game. And, and uh, me being a rookie, I couldn't convert on that little shot there. But hey, I'm I've got an opportunity here again to set up the offense. Coach wants us to get a line change, but I turn it over anyway and might have just gone back to the bench. To think about my missed opportunity here. Good defense by Brodeen. Just kind of hung on that line. I couldn't get it done. Here's a fake shot by me, but I can't convert there. Staylock, the solid goaltender for the Wild. They're going to get that stop on me, get that poke check, little slap shot here. I miss totally, total whiff job on that attempt there. So not a good attempt there, Brady. one nothing here still, and I don't cover the point. Rookie mistake, kind of just gliding, kind of just hovering around the pointed area, but... You gotta get down. You gotta get down. You gotta stop that shot from, or stop that pass from coming in here. Here's a shot, trying to look for that rebound off of Staylock, but he's been shutting us down. Two nothing here still. I got some deeks on Staylock, but he's gonna make the save anyway. Great goalie tonight. And your final score will be four nothing. Get an empty net goal. Tough road game for us. I mean, we gotta come from LA all the way up to St. Paul and take on this pretty tough Minnesota team and. Yeah, hats off to them. They they got it done and they shut us out. And you know, we, we just got to be better on offense. I got to be better too. I got to set up my teammates and put the puck in the net. We had an early chance and I didn't come through. And uh, that maybe would have set the tone for the rest of the game. But Drew Doughty knows the rookie thing. He knows it. He gets it, right? So he's challenging me. He says, I got 300 bucks on the line here. Just $300. You know, that'll, that'll pay for dinner, right? If I score three points. So I don't know if he's saying like, one point for a hundred dollars or three points for it's 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 all it's, it's all of it i gotta give it three points for 300 bucks i think we can do it i think we can do it but we're going up against the new york rangers the team that picked first overall and they didn't go with me so of course the motivation's there outside of 300 dollars and i i just want to win i want to win and i, I want to prove to new york and maybe even new york fans that they got it wrong. They got the pick wrong. They should have taken me number one. But who am I kidding? I'm loving my time out here in Hollywood. It's either Hollywood or New York, right? And who knows? Things might have been different had I been selected by New York. Maybe I wouldn't have been as involved in the offense. Maybe I would have taken a back seat, different coaching styles, different teammates. It depends on what the chemistry is like, you know? But I'm loving my time out here. You know, I'm number one on the list right now for the Calder Trophy for, for being the rookie of the year. I get a little backhand shot in the slotted area, but that's not going to be a good end. Dude, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'll freaking kill you. I got demon eyes today. I got I got possessed eyes today. I'm 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 looking to make a statement tonight. But three to two. New York is up. Slap shot from the blue line. A little bit above the blue line is going to go in, and our our defense is just not with it tonight. So maybe this is. The point of no return where, you know, a, a team like us that shouldn't be where we're at starts losing some games here. I hope not. Deflected shot. Going to make the save anyway. We just got to keep putting good shots to the net. Some good things will happen. Here's Jeff Carter. Yeah, baby. Line offense gets a goal. We tie it up 4-4. Four to four. Was four to two. We ended up getting a, a goal a little bit earlier than that. And now it's now it's tied up. So good power play goal for Jeff Carter. Third period. We got a little nice face-off win here. We got a breakout. We got a, about a three-on-two situation. Give it to me. I'm gonna try to pass it down low. Ah, can't set it up. But I do get the puck here. Oh man, get it, get it, get it, get it. Reset, reset, reset. Give it to me. Yes, let's go. Little backhanded. Goal right here, right above the blocker side. That's a beaut. That is a beaut. Not eighth goal of the season. 
And I wanted it. I wanted it. We tried to set that play up a little earlier, and it didn't work out for us. But this time it did right above the blocker. That's a that top shelf, baby. Gotta love that. So we take the lead 5-4. to four. Right after the goal here, New York is trying to get something set up. But if we get a little turnover here, we got a chance here, three on three. But we got the speed. We got the speed to go here. Oh, I, I, I still got control. Yes, let's go. Six to four, good pass. Good wraparound pass. Little one-time goal here for Colin Wilson, his fourth on the year. And now we're just taking control of this game over New York. We, we like that blocker side, apparently. So why not keep going with it? I mean, it's been really, really kind to us. Take the shot here, Brady. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. Goalie doesn't know what hit him. Thought I was going to take that shot. We've had two straight goals on that blocker side. We go glove side here. Ryan Nugent Hopkins with the goal. And we get a win at home against New York. And, of course, their organization probably thinking, man, we should have taken this guy. We should have taken this kid. But that's all right. Like I said, I'm happy where I'm at. Drew Doughty's giving me money, $300. $300 richer after a win. I mean, life's good, man. Life's real good. I uh, I feel like I have to get my acceleration and my speed up, maybe my strength as well, and my accuracy with my slap shots. My, my wrist shots are, are pretty accurate. I, I like where I'm at with that, with, especially with some backhand goals that I've made so far. And my workouts are paying off as well. Really focusing on athleticism and trying to get better, trying to get faster, trying to get stronger. You know, 17 years old, hanging in there with some of the top athletes in the entire hockey world. Like, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at regarding that goes. But I know my mental game is strong. I know that my raw skill is there. And uh, I'm going to be able to hang in here with these guys for as long as the season is I mean we got 82 games right if I can keep setting guys up like this Ryan Nugent Hopkins with a goal like we're gonna be just fine we're gonna be just fine I might even be able to get some off days at some points too and rest my legs a little bit but here we go again we get another goal it's gonna be three nothing early against Columbus another home game that we're just absolutely killing it in the goal department in the offensive departments and I think that it really did take it really did take that loss to kind of set us up for, you know, we got to be better. And I, I really think that 4 nothing loss really set us up for that. Here's a shot. No good. But I get the rebound. Again, the wherewithal, it's there. The mental game is there. I just got to be able to put the mental game to use with the physical game and try to try to one-up a lot of these guys that have been around the league for a long time and, and kind of just keep my head in there. And, you know, the little tricks of the trade. The tricks of the trade of the uh, of the program is a lot different than the OHL for sure. Five nothing here, and we got another little setup. There's the backhand shot, another goal. It's six to nothing. That's two goals for me in this game, and uh, you know I'd like to think that this one's pretty much out of reach. It's double digits in goals for me already, and we're not even like 12 games into the season. Maybe not even 15 games into the season. Like, I'm playing really, really well. I'm playing really, really well. And we've got a ton of talent here on in LA. We got Nugent Hopkins. We got Kopitar. We got Jeff Carter. Jonathan Quick. Like, we're not a bad team. Drew Doughty. How can I forget? The guy who's paying my bills. Dustin Brown's still here. Like, we're we're a pretty solid team. I was just surprised that they were going to be picking second and and got me and got me right. But 10 goals, eight assists. In 16 games, I'm still averaging a point, more than a point per game. And that's an average that I want to keep compared to the other young studs in our game here. one nothing early and a good little fake there. Rask was not covering that side. He, he, he didn't think that he was going to try to pass it over to me. And just that clutter, that clutter spot there. But hey, here we go. Just like my first NHL goal. I'm always going to remember that one against San Jose. Nice pass. Getting Rask out, out of position a little bit. He went down. I went up. And there you go. So we got another goal. 3-0 here at home. We're really playing well at home in front of our L.A. fans. 3-0. Skating around this dude. Passing it back. Trying to set up the offense again. And here we go. Another backhand. Let's go. 4-0, baby. Two goals already. 
on Tuka Rosk like this is a established goalie and he can't hang with my with my backhand shot like I said my, my wrist shots have been very solid all season long and I got 10 goals already in the top 10 in the entire league and as far as overall points go I'm top nine along with Kopitar and Nugent Hopkins so again we are very talented a little fake shot here setting our guys up taking a shot deep oh I got another opportunity what a goal what a goal! Nugent Hopkins with the goal. I, I found him. Just kind of hanging out there in the slotted area, and boom, he gets his ninth. And our offense is just insane right now. We've got three guys in the top 10 in the NHL. Like, we're, we're, we can carry that. We can carry that for the rest of the season. When Jonathan Quick's playing well, like he is too, you know, we're going to be really tough, tough to beat. We're going to be a tough, tough team. 21 points now on the season. And. Coach Nightingale thinks that I'm ready to move up to the first line. That was all second line experience with those guys. I built up a lot of chemistry with those dudes. But now I get to play with Anza Kopitar and Brandon Sat. Like, I'm moving up on the line, and maybe it might be not for the best. It might not be for the best. I mean, we're winning games. It might wreck that chemistry a little bit that I built with those guys. And, you know, shifting people around like that, it, it, it could have some drawback could have some setback here I've, I've been really thriving in that second line and you know maybe I'm a little bit afraid of uh, you know getting up there into the bright lights while on the first line it's gonna be against their best defenseman like coach is mentioning here but you know um, you got to take the bull by the horns you got to take the bull by the horns and um, you got to be ready when, when your numbers called you got to be ready and uh, we'll just see how this thing goes so first line here I come Hey guys, it's GG9. Thanks again for watching another episode of Brady Walchek's Be a Pro in NHL 21. As you guys know, you were able to fill out a Google form from last episode that helped me determine what direction you wanted to take Brady Walchek as a player and what you wanted him to do with his career decision. So there's a new Google form below in the pinned comment and a description. And letting you guys know right now, there are, it's kind of the same questions for the next episode, but these are more first line based because now that Brady is on the first line, there's going to be some things that I throw in that uh, might surprise you a little bit on some of Brady's decisions that, he, that he's going to make in the next episode. So, of course, I don't play these in advance. I do wait for you guys and your feedback and your votes, and then I go in and play based on what you want to see happen. So... In this way, you guys can kind of mold Brady's career. You can kind of mold the player he becomes and the player that uh, that he is, really. So his play style is directly dependent on the skills and uh, the decisions that you guys help make. So I do want this to be an interactive series. And uh, then you guys get to see your end result of those decisions that you guys have through the Google form. So guys, leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you in the next one again. Google form for next episode is in the description and a pinned comment as well as the live chat. So thank you again for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. As always, peace.